Hey everybody, um, I'm the writer Sid Sinaback and this is my uh, on-screen debut. Um, I'm at a friend's house right now and he invited me to try all these uh, all these Japanese snacks. They're mostly Kit Kat by the way, spoilers. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get this show started with the first item on the list. Uh, Pokey's Shinshu Kyoho. Um, I have no idea what flavor this is, but... It looks like it's, uh, grape. Yeah, I, I think it looks like grape and a, a, a seedless kiwi. <laughs> Alright, go ahead um, and try it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is me trying... Okay. And this is way... This is one really big pokey stick. <laughs> <laughs> bigger the, than the ones we have here in Canada. Yeah, bigger than... The ones are just, like fried like really thinly shaped sticks yeah that like you the, can just <laughs> they do have fat ones but like the, the fat one i yeah. had was like small like it was like half the size of that yeah okay let's try this okay now that's not strawberry <laughs> um but it, it's like it, it tastes sort of like a cross between grapefruit, a little um, berry flavored taste, and mm. grape actually. So the label didn't lie. There is some uh, some re resemblance of grape in here. Uh, all right, all right. Let's switch things up to a candy called um, One Hundred Percent, which is which is the number that I never got in math class. <laughs> 100% legit. Yeah, I should have taken this when I had that test in high school, but, you know, 51 is not bad for a final grade. <laughs> okay, I know this flavor. When you go in, into a supermarket and buy, like, those clementines, those little oranges, right? Mm-hmm. Tastes almost exactly like that. It's a pretty hard candy, but you know it's pretty good to um, suck on. Um, don't don't take don't don't you dare don't you dare. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't you dare take that out of context, you. <laughs> Easy there. <laughs> okay, I said too much about my past, but um. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Uh... <laughs> nice camera work, there, buddy. <laughs> Dude. Okay, okay. But yeah, uh, going, going back to things. Shut up, you. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, obviously, because it's candy. Uh. Tastes like tangerine, and the the flavor itself is like like pretty accurate. So what else can I say? So our next item on uh, today's uh, little video is um, cheesecake cut. I mean custard cream and cheesecake. Custard cream. Custard and cream and cheesecake. You see the little preservation packet over there. Ah, oh, preservation. Uh, Let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to unwrap than the other one. That's a plus. Uh, okay. So yeah, like the other one, it's really fluffy too and light. But like you know, there's something inside. Obviously, maybe it's filling. Maybe it's like um, some weird <laughs> fortune cookie thing. Thing, but like. I don't know. Let's let's try it. This one has an interesting flavor and good filling too. It's like those custard buns, but the taste is a little more like cheesecake, as they advertised. Um, not too cheesy, but you you know you sort of like taste that milky um, aftertaste. And it's very soft. The liquid's a bit, like, a, a bit thick. But, like, as long as you drown it out with some milk or 
water after, I, I think you'll be fine. But yeah, um, custard cream and cheesecake. I recommend it, I guess. <laughs> if you can find it. <laughs> Just Google it, guys. <laughs> Let's try another Pocky. So this one, I believe it's Yubari Melon. Yep, Melon. Um, it looks more like a papaya to me, actually. But if it's Melon, then um, that's pretty good. I, act I have to actually say this, but like, I think I'm mildly allergic to like the real legit Melons. Not like the artificial ones. Yeah, probably put that down then. <laughs> maybe maybe um, put that down. No, no, it'll be fine. The art of this is, if it's artificial, it'll be good. But I, like, I don't know. Maybe it's not artificial. <laughs> I don't have the ingredients packet. But yeah, um, whenever I have a real melon or a honeydew, my throat would like slightly close up. But hopefully, this won't kill me. Slightly. So. Yeah, slightly. I would just cough, cough, a few times and be hard to swallow. But you know, whatever. Let's just try this. If I died, then you can call 911, okay? Oh, no. Okay, so it pr tastes pretty close to melon. Oh. Don't worry, man. I'm not gonna <laughs> die on you yet. <laughs> my, my cameraman's so... My cameraman's so worried about my well-being. I'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> I told him not to do it, guys. I told him not to do it. But I did it anyway. It tasted pretty... It, it's. I won't say it's memorable, but it's like it tastes pretty... Um, like I said, though. Melon. Japan, they're really good at nailing their, their flavors. This one's my favorite. Yeah, Xavier Editor's wanted Choice me Award. to try, try this. Editor's Choice Award. What are you Actually, explain it? I have a whole bunch of these, um, and my favorite one is definitely uh, this red one. I forgot the flavor, but best flavor, really good. It's, but I'm not giving him it because I only have like two left. So you could I just give me a piece, you screwed. No, no there's my. It's my favorite thing. Okay. Uh. So he gave me the second rate flavor, the little damn fucker. <laughs> yeah, second rate. Whatever. Uh, chicken teriyaki, right? Uh, yeah. Is it chicken teriyaki or just regular? It... Like, there's several di different types of types of teriyaki. Why does it look like? Hon honestly, I'll ask my sister. Okay, it's just like teriyaki. <laughs> it's really good. It's really generic good. Generic teriyaki. Really good. It's like, you know, I've actually had snacks similar like this, like literally the same shape as. But this, this is one. the real one. No, like, it doesn't matter if it's real. Like, literally, this is Just the same. have it, eat it, and shut up. <laughs> no. How about you eat it and shut up? <laughs> oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> this one. I like the taste. Um, it has the same texture as, like, a potato chip. Okay. It really dissolves easily in your mouth, too, I find. But, like, it always... There's always some that... That are left around in corners of your mouth so if you don't like those kind of foods then maybe don't try this one but you know if you are then give this give this uh stick of doom a try <laughs> what's this banana uh okay Something. it looks like a really weird um inappropriately shaped <laughs> custard bun <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! I'll, I'll let you decide if you <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Um, well, I, I like how all these pastries just have these little plastic things here. You never see those kind of stuff like here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like to protect it. Yeah. Once again, lightweight, but you know there's something inside because there's a little <laughs> heavy. Um. <laughs> This is kind of like inappropriate for me to hold it like this. So, uh, <laughs> this is. <laughs> this, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. <laughs> oh, okay, just uh, get over with it. <laughs> okay, let, let's just eat this. Um, if I just eat it slow, then it'll probably look inappropriate. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so like the other one, um, there's see. some kind of filling inside. Nice. Uh, this one t it has more of a banana strawberry feel to it. And yeah, um, basically it's like the same thing, but with a different shape. Not a fan of the shape though, that's... I felt dirty just holding it like that. I have to make it like a banana, right? <laughs> well, at least mine's bigger than this. <laughs> So, um, our next uh, items on the list are the various Kit Kats. So many Kit Kats. Yeah, so Kit many Kats. Kit Kats. <laughs> Cameraman, would you go back to your original position, please? Okay, so this is, I believe, that bean, um, red bean dessert that Japanese, sometimes, I, I think some Japanese eat, um, as a snack. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ah, oh my god. Um, okay. Good idea. Hope I'm not allergic to it. Red bean, you said. Red bean, yeah. Um, this one, I don't think I like as much. It, it just has this weird aftertaste to it, and... It, oh. Yeah. It, oh. It just, <laughs> swallow it! <laughs> god. Mm, you know, at first it starts tasting like regular chocolate, Kit Kat. Yeah. And you just get into it and it... Ooh. The yeah. red bean one doesn't taste good just because it doesn't mesh well with the chocolate. It's yeah. way too bitter, bitter and uh, the tastes don't really match well together, so... Good start, mate. Good start. Can't really Kit recommend Kats. that. <laughs> the Shinshu apple. Um, I don't think I've ever tried chocolate with apples before, but... <laughs> First off, you can smell like a really uh, powerful apple scent uh, from this. You can taste the apples at first, but then it just morphs into this kind of bitter, chocolatey, chocolatey um, aftertaste. Mm. So it went from like going good to going mediocre, like pretty fast. They, they're getting really creative with these uh, wrappers. Um, Hokkaido Melon uh, Kit Kat. So this, I, I think I'll survive this this uh, next bout of melon. Oh my god! I'm telling you not to do so it. um, yeah, it's a little more yellow and orange than the pokey one, but Why does that look at this interesting vibes? color. Why is that giving me bad vibes? Shit. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, the the you don't really taste anything at first, but then you sort of taste the the mango a little bit. What am I? Mango, not melon. A little bit later. Um, so I believe a mango Kit Kat could exist somewhere. By the way, how fast is the reaction when you get allergic reaction to a melon? Is it like instant? Or? Oh no, it takes like five ten minutes. Till my throat closes up a little bit, but it's not nothing serious for me to take to the hospital. It's just oh. I'll need lots of water. Oh, okay, which down. we have, so that's good. All right, now this is the one I'm looking most forward to, and you can probably search it up more online. But uh, I have pr I have to present to you Japanese sake Kit Kat. Yes, alcoholic Kit Kat. Yeah, out, it, this thing literally has real alcohol. 0.28 alcohol drugs. No, there's like 0.5% of alcohol in here. and Enough um, to get you drunk. <laughs> like, it's not banned to children and like, the children to buy these, but like, it's recommended that um, they not buy this one. Um, but like, I, I think it'll be pretty interesting to taste, so let's try it out. It's a Japanese sake Kit Kat that everyone's been talking about, but I wanted to try Sakura Pepsi, but whatever. I didn't bring it, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Next time, next time. Okay, so it has a white coating, like the strawberry, like the other, like some of the other ones that were featured today. Mm. So let's try it a little bit. Oh, God. 
It, oh, holy it, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so if you... I, I'm not kidding, guys. When you when you actually smell it up close, you can really smell the sake. I like smell any alcohol. It. Yeah, exactly. I can smell the alcohol. It, it's like... I don't know. I'm, I, I'm like sort of scared and <laughs> afraid to try this, but whatever. Try it. <laughs> it it's pretty interesting because the taste isn't as pronounced as the other one, but like you can definitely feel sort of a hint flavor of sake in here. And it surprisingly mixes well with the chocolate flavor too. I'll give you a piece to try. Even though I already, I already tried it, but uh, this is my I think, second one. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, I feel lightheaded now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd say if I had to compare it to like candy like in North America, I'd say uh, sake Kit Kat is more like coffee crisp. Like um, You can sort of taste that uh, alcohol content, mm -hmm. like, but it's really, really faint. Um, I mean, you could get away with giving kids this and the parents won't know the better. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was Japanese Sake Kit Kat. I liked it. I can recommend it. Mm -hmm. um, as for the other snacks uh, in this huge garbage pile right now. What was your favorite? It's got to be a mix, close race between the Sake Kit Kat and... Um, the two custard buns, I guess. Mm. The strawberry and the uh, banana one. But yeah, uh, shout out to Musings Beyond Chocolate. That's my uh, sister's new channel, by the way. She doesn't have any videos yet, but she's going to start putting some videos up yeah. there soon. Uh, shout out to Musings Beyond Chocolate. I'll put her link in the description below. And in the, it'll be highlighted here too. In the yes, video. exactly. Um, just she, You can follow her Japanese adventures on her channel. Either that or, like, you food can follow reviews, stuff yeah, like that. other food um, reviews. And, too. yeah, she's the one that got all these snacks for us. So, yeah, you know, so big thanks really to her. Really thankful for her um, for bringing all these amiibos. Oh, yes. This is my video. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but, yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. And, once again, I'm the writer who sits in the back. The cameraman's Kent Rippo. Yes. Uh, Tupac, hashtag peace, swag. I'll see you in the next video. Swelling his name. <laughs>